What's up everybody, welcome back to On The Gas Show. We back with another video. We're right here at the shop chilling, trying to get these trucks ready, these race trucks, because we do got an upcoming race event. October Truck Madness, October 15 at Houston Raceway Park is going down. It looks like we're gonna have a 4x4 class. Yesterday we visited our boy, Freddy. Super excited and ready to finish his King Cobra truck. He said he wants smokes with everybody. He said he gonna smoke everybody. Starting with Frank and a little Uzi. He's gonna need more than that. Right now we're right here at the shop, fueling up. 85 so we usually go to the gas station and get e85 from there but sometimes the e85 from the stores they ain't all that last time that we bought e85 from the store it smelled like regular gas my boys at pasadena got me uh a full barrel with spike performance shout out to them if y'all looking for e85 some good e85 y'all go to spike performance they're on 4425 spencer highway right there in pasadena so if you're looking for good e85 go over there get you some good 85 if your truck is tuned for e85 and if it's lean if you don't put e85 you're gonna blow your shit up so right now we're filling up the holly truck so we got a little surprise for y'all everybody that watches if you haven't subscribed to this channel make sure to subscribe and like because we do have the fire content we do fuck up a lot of shit if you're not subscribed you're missing out besides that we got badass giveaways we got badass racing we got badass show trucks we got badass shows we got a little bit of everything so make sure to subscribe do that good stuff right now we're getting the holly truck ready because we are going to race somebody yeah somebody pretty popular yeah. we're gonna do a collab yeah so we're gonna do a collab you guys been asking for this it's finally happening the holly truck versus the super snake from it's just a six Originally, this truck was from him, right? We bought this truck from It's Just a Six. And it was just a 408 Nitrous truck. It was actually a 408, and that 408 is on that truck right now. And that bitch is hauling ass, is running 560s, which is stupid fast for what it is, because it's a street truck. But we got a bigger motor on this truck. Now it's twin turbo. The only thing that stayed is the Holly, right? The Holly, the seats, the interior stay yeah, the same yeah. intact. See, we got the six right there. Still got the same seats. We do have a different type of transmission. We do have a different steering wheel now. We do have a trans brake now. Uh, we do have a bigger screen from Holly. That's the only thing that this truck has from when we bought it. Other than that, it has brand new wheels, brand new motor, turbos. It's lowered. It has suspension, transmission. I mean, it has it all. You guys been asking for it? We're going to finally make it happen for you guys. We're going to go race Gavin. Now, last time that we visit Gavin, he moved from Louisiana to Atlanta yeah. now. So now he's in Atlanta. So we're going to have to make that 12 hour drive. Well, Frank is going to make that 12 hour drive. I'm going <laughs> to sleep in a back that's a lot of motherfucking driving we're gonna be taking this truck and then i'm thinking about taking this one too so comment down below let us know if you think we should take crawfish and maybe give him a little taste of what crawfish is all about you know because it is crawfish season but for sure we're taking this truck to race them also that guy's been asking for a young dolph rep we are taking the white body challenger we're gonna wrap that motherfucker with the young dolph rep the original rap guy that did all the young dolls rap is in atlanta right right it's an atlanta custom rap atlanta custom rap so we already got in touch with the dude and and uh, we were first gonna wrap a truck, right? But yeah, but the way we feel with the trucks, yeah. it kind of doesn't look good yeah. on it. We're just gonna do a car, and I yeah. think the white body Challenger is the perfect contender. Yeah. So we are gonna take the Challenger for sure. We are taking this truck for sure. But I'm actually pretty excited. I don't know, it's gonna be a close race. The truck is twin turbo. Yeah. All wheel drive, it's all wheel drive. All wheel drive, so with the rolls, all wheel drive just launches. Yeah. We're gonna be spinning our ass yeah. trying to catch up. Now we might go to the track, or we might go to the streets. I'm not sure. If we do street, we're gonna have to do some rolls. If we go to a track, we're of course gonna be dig if we go to a track it'll be more advantage for us because this truck is way faster now than what it was before it's an eight second truck mid eight second truck. yeah for sure i mean hopefully we go to the track and not the street if we want to do some digs now y'all comment down below let us know if we should take crawfish so you can see a little bit of crawfish now we do have the challenger back here we picked it up the other day and we also have another surprise what we're we gonna show them now we're gonna show them now i think we should go to the bag we'll show you the challenger again it's back here i mean we got all the nice trucks here we got the gray one we got crawfish we got the red turbo gmc we got a little uzi here lucy has gotten famous. It has, and especially racing Freddy. Yeah. I mean, now Freddy wants blood, you know? Not only that, but he got smoked twice. <laughs> yeah, so we have a little surprise for you guys. We've been thinking about doing something that everyone can relate to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a yeah. nice little budget build where yes. it's a simple truck and we make it cool. Yeah. You know, and on the gas touch. Yes. We've been thinking about it for a while. We've been looking for a nice truck here. Right now, all these trucks, they're already kind of like abused. Kind of hard to find you a clean, clean truck that hasn't been molested or touched but we found a badass badass real clean to start off with we got the challenger here my body challenger this is the challenger shout out to papa exclusive over there in conroe he uh got the car fixed 
I had a little incident. Somebody hit me at the drive-thru. A guy painted the whole car. Looks really good now. We are doing the wrap on this car. And it's gonna look sick. It's a white body challenger. 24 is all the way around. 24 by 15 is in the back. Uh, it has a little sound system too. It's really nice. So yeah, we're gonna be taking this car to get wrapped for sure. All right, guys. So we had to pull it out. We put it out because it was on a tight spot and we wanted to get good angles. So I want to present you the starter pack truck build. Here it is. I'm a boxing chopper, shopping, copper, shocker for you possums. I'm never walking to walk, but you know I don't get crushed. Never do a cross, it bits out about it. Don't got the hideous gin and got it. I ain't never sober, but the dick, but it's chronic. Wrong with the blood, number one, you lost respect. My authority, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah
I'm gonna show you the engine bay. And we haven't even washed it. We haven't even washed yeah, it. Yeah, we, have, we haven't even touched it. No, 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 yeah. no. We just put some plates on to cover up the original plates. And that's about the only thing. We haven't even washed it. Look, get this. It's dirty. The guy was a older gentleman from Crosby. What, about 45, 50? Give or take. Anyways, well, here it is. Super clean truck. Real clean. Like I said, I mean, we haven't even washed it. We haven't even detailed it or nothing. And this is how clean we got it. And the guy that we bought it from, he wasn't even selling it. We just saw the dude at the track. We're like, hey, how much for the truck? I was like, bro, we'll take it right now. Cash is king. So we brought it home that day that we went to the track, remember? Yeah, we raced uh, Crawfish, Crackhead, and Lil Uzi. Yes, that HGP. night. That night. So if y'all been keeping up with the videos, it was that night. This truck has a, uh, see right here, the year, 2004 model vehicle, and it has a 4.8 liter. I didn't even drive this truck home, so I don't know if it has an exhaust or not. I didn't even pay attention. I just looked at the interior, touched the paint, make sure everything was good and was original. We didn't even test drove it. Perillo drove it all the way over go. here. So I don't even know if it doesn't have an exhaust or not, but it looks like pretty much everything's original. Like I said, burgundy truck, 4.8. Dropped already. Let's show them the interior real quick. Like I said, this is a really, really, really clean. The dash ain't cracked. The seats, look, they're not torn up or nothing. Like it's super clean, super clean. It looked like they had uh, these floor mats to help it out a little bit more. It does have a screen radio now, but I don't think it even has a sound system. No. It still has all this. Like we usually buy the trucks and this is the first thing that comes out. We put speakers, speakers in the back. Jack's back here to take off the wheels and everything is back here. You know, knowing us, it must gonna be have to be deleted because we might be putting a sound system. I mean, that's one of the things that you do for sure. Put a sound system, tent, drop, wheels. So we're gonna be doing all that stuff. Before we do all that, y'all make sure and comment down below. Let us know what should we do first. Now we are doing the tent first. It doesn't really count. That's just mandatory. So let us know. We should put some wheels. What kind of wheels? Should we put an exhaust? What kind of exhaust? You know what I'm saying? Tip. What kind of? If we do Corsa. If we do boiler. Exhaust, carbon. Like carbon. For sure, we'll be visiting our boy Rolando at Aces right here on Clearwood. Let us know what kind of muffler we want. Let us know what kind of wheels we want with the wheels. We were talking about this earlier. We can do billets, right, Frank? We can do billets, yes. but what does that mean? That means that billets, like intro, billet specialty, but cotton tin, race line, all these wheels, billet wheels, aluminum wheels, they're expensive. We can actually put wheels. If we put billet wheels, we're gonna have to get a big lip in the back, of course. We're gonna have to cut the rear end. That means that now we have to tub out the back. And we can do it, right? Because we got 10,000. But that means that we're just gonna put wheels. That's it. And that's so, it. No sound system, no exhaust, no nothing. Because all the money goes to the wheels. Yes. So, y'all make sure and think about it before. Because we can do the billet wheels, but that means that we're gonna spend all our $10,000 in the billet wheels with the drop with the rear end, with the tubs, with the dog house, with the big scene in the back. Our 10 grand are gonna go out the door and that's it. So we're not gonna have color match. We're not gonna have exhaust. We are not gonna have a cam. Maybe if we do a cam, we're not gonna have leather seats. Maybe we're not gonna have a sunroof. You know what I'm saying? We have $10,000 to build this truck of your choice. Let us know down in the comment section, how should we build it? You know what I'm saying? Because this is a truck that is gonna get built by our subscribers. And then after that, we're gonna give it away. And if we have a little bit of money left over, that means you can win the truck and you can win some money. You know what I'm saying? So we spent five G's, we have five G's left over. That means if you win the truck, you can take these five G's with the truck. Like I said, it doesn't get any better than that. Make sure you're smart about the choices. Yes, make sure you're smart about the choices that you made because we only got $10,000. I don't know, I was thinking maybe some welds. Yeah, that's not too expensive. Maybe some the Cosmes, yeah. or maybe some replicas, but it's a bigger size. Maybe some 22s, maybe some 24s. Comment down below, let us know what kind of wheels you want. You know what I'm saying? If you want 20s, if you want 22s, if you want 24s. But remember, we only have $10,000 to build this truck. You can do a lot of things with $10,000. I'm thinking about, you know, a cam, exhaust, posi, because this could be a little burnout truck too. There you go. As well. I mean, we could build this truck right if we are smart about it. So let us know in the comment section what kind of wheel should we buy. But for sure, tomorrow we'll put a tail on this truck. If it was me, I wouldn't even touch the tear. As far as what? As like far. no stitching, no leather, no, no. I would just keep it like this. Because yeah, it's, it's clean, clean, bro. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's clean. When when you find something that's clean, you don't want to really want to touch it. Yeah, that much. you don't want to molest it. If too you much. seen the Gaps truck, the SS clone that we got, Frank's gonna put a picture right now. Boom. Right, that one. That truck. That truck is really clean. I got it painted and the seats, everything, the interior is still original. Still has the cloth seats. I could have put leather seats, but the truck's so clean inside, I don't even want to touch it. You know what I'm saying? Stock door panels, stock seats. I still have this same center console. Now we do have a sound system on that truck done by the other shop in the Valley and it sounds really good. But I like the simple, nice look. I would say we should keep this truck just like that. It ain't my choice. It's your choice in the comment section. So comment down below. What else we got? We got the bed, we got the bed. So that might be one of the things we need to do is bed liner. Yes. Bed liner is another one that I think it's not a mod. It's necessary here 
because obviously it's an 18 year old truck they probably used it for work they probably took it to home depot well it kind of looks like they used it for actual work yeah, work well, truck your truck we didn't use it for work the diesel and it was beat up and it was beat up but we put boxes in a bag we, we put, put wheels rear ends. rear ends we didn't use it for work like we didn't put no like actual tools back there the good thing is that it's not dented it's not dented that bad it's just scratches from the top we, we might have to fix that but that's about the only big dent that this truck has yeah this one right here. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. For sure, it's a bed liner because we want to make this truck clean. And with the black nice bed liner on this truck, we'll set it off right, of course, with the tin. Like I said, tin and bed liner. Tin is going to be the first thing that we got to do to this truck. So we got $10,000. So $10,000 minus, let's do $150 because it's seven cap. That'll be including the 5% all the way around, the 35 in the front, which is the windshield, which is illegal. Don't do this at home because you might get pulled over and get a ticket. But here in Texas, we don't care. If you get pulled over, we get pulled over, just pay a ticket because it's hot. So 10 all the way around, that's 150 bucks. The duck, 150 bucks from the $10,000. Now, bed liner, I don't know how much it is, bro. I think it's like 350 to do the oh, bed liner. Oh, 350? Yes, and I think 350 is cheap. Everybody that we go to, they charge what they charge, but we guarantee the work. They do good work. Whatever they charge, if it's 350, 500 bucks, Tito might know. Tito, how much is it to bail in our truck? Uh, 300, 300. Okay, we're close. We're gonna say just 350. So 150 for the tent, and 350 we're at 9500 500 dollars less than the 10,000 we're at 9500 dollars that was quick bro that was quick that that's was quick. a that's a fast way to spend 500 bucks oh yeah you know damn well you're gonna spend a lot more money than that no 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 we have ten thousand dollars bro we're building a truck with ten thousand dollars that's all you're gonna spend on. That's all we're gonna spend. So the people in the comment section are gonna be choosing what we're gonna do to the truck, but we only have 10,000. Well, whatever they wanna put you I mean, we're gonna do the first thing, limo 10. Of course, it already has a drive. We're gonna do some wheels. We're gonna do some color matching. I mean, those are the basic steps. Our subscribers are gonna be choosing what kind of wheels, what kind of exhaust, if we should put a cam, if we should put a sound system, but we do have $10,000 only. Whenever we're done, if we have $5,000 left, that means that whoever wins the truck, takes the other 5,000. Oh, okay. See, gotcha. you understand what I'm saying? Gotcha, gotcha. Make sure you comment down below. You gotta be a subscriber. You just can't be a lurker. And just yeah, like, oh, I ran into this video. You should do this and that. Yeah, make sure to subscribe because you can be the next lucky winner. Like I said, we got $10,000. $10,000 is gonna go fast, huh? Uh, we already 500 less yeah. with the tin and the, the bed liner. I mean, those are the first things that it's oh. mandatory tin. And of course, you want to fix the bed because it looks ugly. We'll do a bed liner all black, make it look nice. It's actually a real, real clean bed. It, it just, is. It's it just is. like a little scrape. Yeah, yeah, we got one little thing right here, but that's about it. It's an 18 year old truck. I'm sure they used it, took it to Home Depot, probably, I don't know, put a two bucks back here. I don't know what regular people do. You know what I'm saying? They actually use their trucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for, we, for work stuff. For work, yeah. We use it for shows and for mm -hmm. racing yeah. and stuff like that. No, but we use our diesels. Our diesels will be put in that work. So is this added on or they come like this? This, no. the tow hitch and the tow uh, accessory. This looks like they added it on, probably like a new plug. These, they do come with this original. Yeah. So I don't know that for sure because my blue OG clone had a hitch when I oh, bought no it. Oh, shit. Yes, it was black. It had a hitch. Oh, that's right. These, they usually come with this in the bottom. I'm not sure, but it looks like this is aftermarket. Before they dropped this truck, they did use it to tow because this is actually pretty brand new. We'll probably be taking this thing off. I don't know, comment down below, let us know. I would take it off. Back in the day when, we were, when I was younger, we used to leave these in the truck and it would just scrape everywhere and it was cool. It was cool, yeah, you know the what sparks saying? and everything. <laughs> no, 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 it was just cool to be dropped and to drag and this. drag this around. Drag, just drag it, you know what I'm saying? When you go up the, the gas station yeah. or whatever, if you were dragging, you were low and that was pretty cool back in the day. Yeah, comment down below, let us know if we should leave this or take it off. I would take it off so we get a simple, more cleaner look. I would take this off too. So it could fit the truck, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't fit the truck right now because it's dropped and all that good stuff. We are gonna get new lights for sure. That's another thing. It's another mod, you know, minor mod. You know, it's not a big thing, but we sure need to get new lights. Cause look at this. They're old, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's 18 years old. The headlights look pretty good. We might. Oh, it's cracked. Yeah, it's cracked. Never mind. We're gonna need new headlights too. We're gonna go check online right now and see how much they are. And then we can discount it because we're already $500. Less. Yeah, we already spent 500 bucks. So. Yeah, 500 bucks already? And headlights are what? A couple of hundred bucks? Or? Nah, I think. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna go yeah, online. Yeah, we're gonna go sure. check. I think they're like probably like 100 bucks, 150. Now, we do wanna get the good stuff. We don't wanna get the cheap stuff. Amazon, they're like, I don't know, 30, 40 bucks, but they fade real quick. Wanna get the actual RZ lights type of deal. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, something clean or we could call our boy he can come over here and give us all leds and badass lights stuff but my guy is pricey but it's good quality and they don't fade the clear doesn't come off the lights don't burn up quick or nothing like that here it is guys i hope you like what we got planned going on right now if you're just watching this this is the starter pack truck build and we have ten thousand dollars to build so comment down below let us know make sure you subscribe yeah let's go we on his ass where it shows at.